when we were born, we were born into possibility, awe, and wonder, but through our parents' well-meaning, and the media, and our teachers, and, friends, and society, yeah. and our peers, and the social media, what happens is we adopt the psychology of average versus the mentality of possibility and legendary. As we continue to leave the perfection of childhood, we get hurt, we get disappointed, we don't get invited to a birthday party, we lose a love, we get stepped on. We say, I want to be an astronaut and I want to be a billionaire and I want to also be a great chef and I want to be a yoga teacher and our teacher or our friend says, ha ha ha, you're a fool. Every visionary is initially ridiculed before they're revered. If we're not careful, we pick up all these layers of mud in terms of our psychology and our heart set, our emotionality, and we don't even see it coming, but over time, we resign ourselves to average. And then we see Kobe Bryant, and we see Shakespeare, and we see Jean-Michel Basquiat, and we see Nelson Mandela, and we see Richard Branson, and Wozniak. And we say, oh, they are geniuses, and they're cut from a different cloth, and I need to spend my days being busy, being busy, because dreaming and possibility and being loving and having a world-class lifestyle is not within the realm of what I can achieve. I've come to believe that you know, unstoppable and being unfazed and being unbreakable is not a special quality that's reserved for the lucky few among us. As a human being, being unstoppable is who we really are. You know, it's our natural default state of mind to be happy, to be peaceful, to be creative, to be generous, to have abundance, to be wealthy, to be determined, to be relentless in every situation. Greatness is our default state of mind. But somewhere along the line, we lost touch with that. Now, every now and then we get a glimpse of that. When you see someone accomplish something ridiculous, it inspires us and it resonates with us to our soul and to our core because it reminds us of what we are truly capable of accomplishing as well. We are more phenomenal and more unbreakable than we think we are. We're stronger than we think we are. Greatness isn't about trying to be somebody else. It's not about trying to be Gary V or Eric Thomas or trying to be Drake or trying to be Jay-Z. It's about remembering who you are. Remembering what you're capable of. And reconnecting with who you really are. There are no extra people on the planet today. There are no extra people? No, every single one of us has a primal genius inside of us. Every, our natural state is awe and wonder. Our natural state is energy. Our natural, our natural state is a heart full of love and a mind full of ideas and a soul that shines brightly. Our natural state is greatness.